If you choose, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Fort Atkinson. I'm Tommy Johnson. And I'm Becky McHenry for Fort Atkinson News Network. These are the morning announcements for Friday, February 12th, 2010. All Valentine deliveries brought up to school today will be available to pick up near the auditorium entrance. Students will not be called down to pick up their Valentines. Names will be posted on a marker board and Student Senate members will be handing out the deliveries. Also, Student Senate will be selling roses for Valentine's Day for $3 each. Winter Ball is on Saturday, Feb February 20th. Any student planning on bringing a guest from another school must pick up a guest permission slip form from the main office. This form must be filled out and turned into Mr. Tranga by the end of the day, Friday, February 19th. And uh, the Fearless Pandas, who we'll be hearing more about in a little bit, mm -hmm. may be there, so it'll be a good idea to come. Sounds cool. Do you dream of becoming a star? Well, here's your chance. Audition for the Fort Atkinson high school spring play. Auditions will be held on Tuesday, February 16th, room G238, starting at 6 p.m. Audition information located outside Ms. Schultz's room, also room G238. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Schultz. Get ready to have some down-home fun. Next week, we'll, the Fort Atkinson FFA will be celebrating National FFA Week. There are a wide variety of activities planned throughout the week. Some notable events include dress-up days and a penny war where students can stuff their jars with pennies to elect one staff member to pucker up for some pig love. Also, pay attention to announcements and see some signs around school for more information. The week will end with the 21st annual Fort Atkinson FFA Pancake Breakfast in the Legion Dugout. You'll have to rise and shine early Friday, February 19th to get in on a hearty breakfast. The event starts from 5.15 and it goes till 10.30 a.m. This is a reminder to all students planning on taking AP exams this spring. All AP exam registration forms and payments must be turned in by February 25th. Please turn in your forms and payments to Mr. Terenga. Friday night and Saturday, the music department will be hosting their 15th annual Showcase Show Choir and Concert Choir Invitational. Groups from Iowa, Illinois, and Wisconsin will be competing for Grand Champion. Friday night will host the middle school show choirs and the high school concert choirs starting at 5 p.m. in the auditorium. Saturday, we'll be hosting 20 high school show choirs beginning at 8 a.m. For more details, see the school district's homepage. French Club members, it's Mardi Gras time. Please come after school on Wednesday, February 17th to celebrate with conversation, food, and games. Sign up to bring something with Mrs. Lemke in room G208. She hopes to see you there. In memory of our fallen Blackhawk, Marine Lance Corporal Jacob Miner, Danielle Romo Avini and her family will, will be participating in an Adopt a Soldier program. If you would like to help out, please donate such items as beef jerky, granola bars, pop tarts, and many other helpful items to assist our soldiers overseas. For a full list of items, please see Danielle. Each week at Fan TV, we will, be, we will be bringing you a segment that focuses on something unique or interesting at our school. I'm here with members of Reset, Scott Ruprecht and Justin Scroggins, and they're going to tell us how they got started. Well, I was driving my 69 Camaro down the street, like, listening to some tunes with the Britney Spears. I was power thrusting outside my house, and um, he picked me up and offered me money. I later realized it was to be in a band. So here you guys are changing your name, and what's the new name? Um, we were thinking Boston Congo. That's very nice. So do you guys write your own music then? Yes, we do, Tom. And yeah. uh, what are some songs? Well, we have a song called Love Oven, where we put the love in the oven. All right. Any other songs? Um, we have one about a screaming eagle and um, bacon bits. Are there any exercises you guys do as a band before a songwriting process? I eat grilled hot pockets. I catch and release squirrels. 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 I catch and release squirrels! I catch and release them! I catch and release them! Why do you guys call yourselves the Fearless Pandas? She's Asian. That's yeah. pretty much it. And we have no fear. Yeah. Alright. Um, what kind of songs do you guys write? 
very in-depth. Uh, they really paint pictures for people in pain. Yeah, they uh, they they're they're, they're kind of like they're rock very, operas, kind they're of. They're very deep, very deep relaxing, spiritual meanings. Relaxing. Uh, very hardcore, also. Though. A lot of math in them. There's a lot. A lot of, a lot math. of math in our and music. Lots of symbolism. Do you guys do anything before you start writing songs? Like, do you do any practices or any? Uh, Activities. We typically practice um, the day before any major performance that we have. Yeah, We're not very good at yeah. getting ahead. In terms of getting ready and before practices, like warming up, we tend to do gymnastics a lot. And yeah. Mariah makes us baked goods because she gets yeah. here late all the time. And so we sacrifice small animals. We ate some uh, Amish friendship bread that Mariah had made for us. It creates a bond between the band. Some friendship. Friendship. Yeah. It's like this. Just like that. Alright, so uh, this is an interview with Fearless Pandas. <laughs> My mom's calling me. <laughs> Tommy! <laughs> We do not actually sacrifice small animals, but <laughs> my mom actually was calling me, so that's a little embarrassing, but it happens. Well, it sounds like we have a lot of talent here in Fort. On Tuesday, February 16th at 7.30 p.m., the Cat's Pajamas will be performing. See this four-voice vocal band perform your favorites. One of the members of the group, Brian Skinner, is a Fort Atkinson graduate and was instrumental in starting the group. They have, all, they have traveled all over the world and will be opening their own stage show in Branson, Missouri this March. They've appeared on Oprah and America's Got Talent. They have also been given praise by well-known American Idol judge Randy Jackson. Tickets are $6 for students and $8 for adults. Tickets may be purchased in the choir room, or you may purchase tickets at the door a half an hour before the show. This has been Becky McHenry for Fan News. This is Tommy Johnson. Remember, respect the stash and no one gets hurt.